You're watching the Self-Determination Channel. Today on In the Spotlight, Cindy and I are back to talk about job coaching. In our last video, we talked about communication and how we can work together. The link is below this video. Today, we are talking about qualities to look for in a job coach. We look for a job coach that takes direction from us. We know best when and where support is needed. We need to be in charge of our job coaches. We know exactly what we need. It's really important to have communication with your job coach. If you need anything, remember to tell your job coach. And if you're getting frustrated with the job coach, make sure you're telling them that because they mm -hmm. need to know if, if they're do, however, helping or they're upsetting you. What I try to do is have a plan for my job coach every, every day we work together. I'll let my job coach know what I can do and what I can't do. If you go too fast for me, it's not going to work. So I say, slow down and let me do the task. If I can't do the task, I'll ask you for help. If you're going to talk to me like a baby, it's not going to work. If you're going to talk to me like an adult, that's going to work for me and treat me like I'm a person. We need somebody to take the time to understand our disabilities. This includes accommodations that we may need. I think accommodations are important. I think whether you have a disability or not, I think everybody needs accommodation. My disability is very invisible. They might not think that I need much support, but I do need some level of support. Sometimes I get overstimulated you know, sitting for a long time that they have to understand and accommodate, not just call me out on it. Because if, if people call me out on things or publicly humiliate me, I mm -hmm. tend to shut down. And for myself, I have a hard time staying focused. It's hard when they're trying to teach me a task. So I let them try to let them know without being mean. For example, this morning, I said, I can't, I don't understand what you're saying. Can you please redirect me to what you're trying to say? And she did, and I understood it. Understanding that we all have challenges and that, um, that, these, that these needs are just human needs that we're all kind of working through. That's what I would want the job coach to see me as a person that just needs some help. We want a job coach that blends into the work environment. It's important for a job coach to blend in. I don't want to be singled out as this of the person in the room with the intellectual disabilities. It's important to blend in so that people understand that you're the worker and that your job yeah. coach is not the worker. Right. Otherwise, they're going to think that the job coach is doing the job versus you are doing the job. So as much as you can kind of, you know, not ask the job coach for help and asking your coworkers and doing more natural supports is so important. And if, you know, you, you don't want support, saying no is okay. A job coach should show us the task and how to complete it to the best of our abilities. Then let us try it for ourselves. We don't want somebody to overhelp or just do things for us. It's okay if we fail at first. We may need to be retaught a task. That's okay too. If you, if you just keep doing something for someone, then they won't actually learn how to do something themselves, you know? So it's just important to um, not have over-dependency. And I don't like it when my job coach is right over, hollering right over me. You have to be very upfront with the job coach right away that, yes, let me try it. If I can't do it, then you can help me. Then I will ask for help. I'm always determined that I'm going to learn this. I feel that I don't want the job coach to do the job for me. I'd rather fail and do it again. We want someone who helps us learn and grow from our jobs. People with disabilities want to advance in their careers too. They can help you um, with different things um, to advance in your career. Maybe they can show you how to type. 
I'm just always saying, you know, you can get the, any job you want. You can, yeah. you can do anything you want. And that's really, really, really crucial to um, yeah. enthusiasm and making sure that they know that they can do yeah. something is really super important. For myself, I asked my job coach, I told her I needed to learn some new things about the computer and my iPad. I, I think I'm behind the times with how I do things because I haven't been taught. So I asked, can you help me take a computer class? And I said, will you go to the class with me? And she said, yes. So now my job coach is helping me do that. That's it for today. Like I said at the start, these are some of the ideas Cindy and I came up with. You can share them with your job coach or watch this video with them. You probably have ideas of your own to share too. On our next job coaching video, we will talk about fading. Fading is when the job coach backs off to let the employee do tasks by themselves. Thanks for watching. See you the next time. Be sure and subscribe and click on the bell icon. You'll be notified when we post the next video.